Topping our news tonight at 6, the type of behavior really so many people fear when they break up with a significant other. Exactly, a case of interstate stalking involving creepy messages and even hidden GPS tracking devices. Police say Sean Thomason from Hazel Park traveled to Mankato, Minnesota, and things got creepier from there. Sean Lay is live to take us through the allegations, and Sean, that includes what police found in this man's car. Absolutely, and people in Hazel Park all the way 700 miles away in Minnesota calling this one of the scariest stalking cases uh, we've ever seen. This is the home where Sean Tomlinson lived with his girlfriend. She took off about six months ago. She was in hiding. She and her father shocked when he turned up in her driveway. They didn't know how he found her, and then police looked under the car. Cell phone video shows a raid going down at the Hazel Park home of Sean Thomason in mid-December. Jacob Rosen watched the whole thing go down. What did you see over there? I saw what looked like a raid team hitting that house. I mean, a Ford Explorer undercover car parked itself up right over the sidewalk, and uh, then a team began raiding the house. And you're thinking, whoa, what's going I'm like, on? whoa, is this something serious? You know what I mean? Investigators were looking for more evidence after Thomason was arrested more than 700 miles away at his girlfriend's new home in Mankato, Minnesota. She cut off all contact with Thomason and had no idea how he found her. Police found two GPS tracking devices under her car. Thomason was also found with a loaded handgun, several pairs of gloves, makeup, electrical tape, women's clothing, video cameras, and cell phones wrapped in foil. Investigators say he also had a script of what he was apparently going to confront his ex with that included phrases like, you will honor your commitment, and people get shot over things like this. The whole thing shocks neighbors back in Hazel Park who watched police burst into Thomason's home. They were serious. They, they wanted him and they weren't going to take any chances. Back here live, Thomason telling federal authorities uh, that he has an explanation for all the things he had and why he was traveling to meet up with his ex-girlfriend. In the meantime, he's being held tonight on a long list of felony charges, including stalking and placing those devices on her car. Back to you. Yeah, and Sean, I understand this isn't the first time that Thomason has traveled to try to track down his ex. The ex-girlfriend's father uh, telling authorities that he also turned up at a train station when she was briefly living in Chicago, coming face to face with her there. They don't know how he found her at that point. Uh, but yes, he has done this before, apparently. All right. Thank you, Sean.